Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Vidyarthini's Academy of Computer Science. In today's session, we will be starting with operating system uh, unit 1 uh, consi uh, consisting of what is operating system, how uh, it is seen in point of users and how it is seen in the point of system and what are the main functions of operating system. Now let's get started. Operating systems. So what is operating system? Operating system is a program that manages the computer hardware and it acts as an intermediary between the application programs and the computer hardware. So what is application program? When it comes to application program, it is like whatever we use, the games or the word, word processing, so everything. Uh, these are called the application programs and when the user is using the application program, he is using the applications and the OS runs behind and it makes use of the hardware. So let's see in this first slide. What is operating system? It, uh, it acts as an intermediary. As I said earlier, it acts as an intermediary between the computer and the hardware. The purpose, why do we need an OS? Uh, the, why do we need the operating system? It is to provide the environment in which users, that is that we can execute the program in a convenient and efficient way so that we can make use of the hardware hardware when it comes to hardware what what and all comes it come it, it includes like a cpu uh, the mem main memory everything the disk space everything all this uh, are the are the compartment of hardware and os run, is a program that runs in the kernel and it helps the user to uh, make use of the application programs so how the computer pro system is designed, the hardware, operating system, then the application program and the end user will be using the application programs. Now let's see a pictorial representation of it. Uh, this is this, uh, just a layer wise pictorial representation of a computer system wherein you will have the computer hardware, then the then comes the operating system, then the system and application programs. So what comes under uh, system and application programs? The compiler, assembler, text editor, games, database, everything. So end user, like there will be many users. So we, uh, we are the end users using the uh, computer applications and the application will be in, uh, bridged by the operating system with the computer hardware. There's one more uh, pictorial representation. In this, if you see, uh, this is an another example. And uh, in this, if you see, it is like uh, uh, software is divided into system softwares and application so softwares. So what is system software? In system software, it uh, includes the operating system, the assemblers, compilers, everything. Whereas in application software, it includes the games, uh, the word processors, PPT, everything. Okay. Uh, so now le let's see the next slide, the hardware components. Hardware components are basically the cent C CPU, central processing unit, memory unit, IO devices. These are the basic uh, computer resources. And application programs, what and all, as I said, it is the word process, spreadsheet, web browsers and all. And these application program defines the way in which resources are used to solve the computing programs of the users. So these are basically uh, required for the user uh, in order to perform their job. Next slide. So when it comes to operating system, it is viewed in two ways. That is from the user's point of view and from the system point of view. Uh, when, when, you, uh, when you see the operating system from user's point of view, what is the major concern is, uh, what will be the major concern? A user want everything to be very quick. User want everything to be very easy. To him, uh, uh, he's not concerned about resource utilization or space, uh, memory management and all. So from a user point of view, what he, what a user will expect? He expect the OS to perform uh, his task very easily. So that is what we will be seeing. And it will also be asked in uh, five marks or two mark questions, the uh, two views of operating system, user view and system view. So from user view, 
OS is designed mostly for ease of use. His uh, his main requirement is I should feel easy to use this OS and my performance uh, do matters and he is not more concerned about resource utilization or how, uh, uh, how well uh, space is used, how well uh, all the resources are used and all. To me, my work should be used. My, my work should be done easily. That is what the users view. So OS is designed mostly for ease of use with some attention paid to performance. So to him, resource utilization is not the major concern. Uh, so uh, OS is basically designed to compromise between individual usability and resource utilization. Whereas from system point of view, OS is the program that is very close to the hardware and it is viewed as the resource allocator. So from system point of view, OS should be uh, using all the resources effectively and uh, uh, resources in the sense it is the hardware and software and it OS should be able to allocate the space, the hardware, uh, the softwares and uh, hardware should be used uh, used efficiently. So what and all, uh, the OS should solve CPU time, memory space, file management, uh, IO devices, utilization, all these are the major concern from system point of view. So what uh, the OS acts as the manager of the resources from system point of view and it also acts as the control program. Uh, a control program manages the execution of the program uh, to prevent errors and improve use of computer. So it is like when, when a user is using an application program, the OS should be able to use the resources such as uh, hardwares and softwares and uh, it should uh, use the resource in such a way that uh, he is not uh, Okay, uh, he is not uh, incurring any uh, errors or uh, he is not having any difficulty in processing the uh, task. So that is, that is the major concern from the user point of view and from the system point of view it should be able to uh, act uh, efficiently utilizing all the resources, all the disk space efficiently. So thus OS is one program that runs always in the kernel in managing uh, uh, the user requirement and the system requirement. So next, this is functions of operating system and uh, this is one of the important questions which will come under 5 marks or sometimes even uh, uh, in 2 marks also they will ask. So this is one of the important uh, topics in uh, first unit. So these are the functions of uh, operating system that is like memory management, process management, device management, file management, networking, uh, protect, protection system, command interpreter system, security, job accounting, error, de error detection. So these are the 10 major functions of operating system and uh, I have uh, taken the uh, clip of one uh, clip of the question from one of the question papers what is a what is an operating system give four functions of operating system it uh, it has been asked under five mark question so you have to give importance for uh, the functions of operating system now let's look in detail about the functions of operating system memory management that is the management of primary or the main memory uh, main memory is main memory provides a fast storage that can be accessed directly by the cpu what what do they say in this line uh, that is to improve the utilization of the cpu and uh, and the speed response of speedly response of the computer to its users the computer generally stores lot of information in main memory and main memory is uh, the place in which CPU can store a uh, lot of information and access quickly from, from it. And uh, uh, main memory is the only place where uh, uh, both CPU and I.O. devices can store and access information uh, simultaneously. So in order to balance, uh, so in uh, for a program uh, to be executed by the CPU, it should be in main memory. For that purpose, OS does the following activity of 
memory management. First, it keeps track of what information is there in the primary memory and uh, uh, it decides what program should be there in the main memory. And once the uh, work of the program is completed, it will uh, uh, deallocate the uh, space for that program and uh, and it will allocate the space in the main memory to the other program. So th these four jobs uh, OS does uh, in when it comes to memory management. So let's see that. Keeps track of primary memory. That is what part of uh, uh, what part is used and what is not used. So it keeps track of what a part of the memory is used and what is not used. That is what is free. And uh, when it comes to multi-programming, OS de decides which program should be there in the main memory and which should not be there, when and how, and allocates the memory. And it once it decides uh, the program, it allocates the memory for that program. And once the work of the program is done, it deallocates the memory when the uh, process is no longer uh, used or when the process is terminated. So this is the pictorial representation of memory management. As I said, operating system uh, does the work of uh, uh, managing the main memory, used space, that is when uh, process 1 goes out and uh, process 2 comes in. So it decides which program has to be uh, in main memory and which should go out of the main memory. Next is process management. In multi-programming in, uh, environment, OS decides which process uh, uh, should get the processor when and how and this is called as process scheduling and this uh, process scheduling is talked in detail in the upcoming chapters. And OS does the following activity uh, in uh, process management. It keeps track of uh, the processor uh, and status of the process. It allocates the uh, processor uh, to the process and once the process is terminated, it deallocates the uh, processor as it is no longer used uh, by the process and the OS program which does the job of uh, this uh, process scheduling is called the traffic controller. Next is the device management. OS manages the device communication via their respective drives that is in a local area network or when the devices are connected through internet the OS decides uh, uh, to which uh, terminal or to which user uh, the uh, device uh, that is the IO devices must be shared. For example, say a printer. Uh, when one user is giving print and uh, say simultaneously the other user is also giving uh, uh, printer access, it decides among the users, um, decides among the processes to which uh, uh, it should allocate the printer. So it, this uh, this job is called as device management and the program that is a, a program of OS which is responsible for uh, uh, this device management is the IO controller. So under this uh, the uh, OS does the activity of keeping track of all the devices, decides which process should get the device. This is what I meant. Uh, uh, process uh, decides which process to get the uh, device, when and how. Uh, and uh, as I said, it is the IO controller which uh, does the task of uh, this uh, device management. So it uh, keeps track of the device, uh, decides uh, uh, for which uh, process it should uh, allocate the device and once the work is done, it should deallocate. And the one which is responsible for this task of OS is called the IO controller. And next is the file management file management uh, or the file management system is the manager of operating system and it just creates an illusion that there are files and folders in the computer memory. Actually uh, it is the OS that creating the illusion that uh, a file is stored under a particular folder uh, and it is there in a particular directory but whereas in the hardware it is all uh, only the information which is stored in the hardware. It does the activity of like uh, 
creating and deleting the files, creating and delete, uh, deletion of the directories, and giving permission to modify uh, and uh, modify or and add data to the uh, files and uh, directories. That is the support of primitives for mani uh, manipulating files and directories, and it also does the work of mapping the files in the secondary storage device and uh, backup of the files on a stable storage medium. All these uh, tasks are done by the OS under uh, uh, file management system. And next is the networking. Uh, in networking, the operating system uh, uh, is more concerned about a sharing of all the devices among all the users uh, as uh, as all the terminals are connected using uh, uh, either LAN or, or the internet. And uh, that's what they say, uh, allow shared files and printers among multiple computers in the network uh, to enable sharing of data and all the information among the uh, terminals that are connected uh, in the network. Uh, this is a pictorial representation of uh, the network operating system and where uh, all the terminals are connected uh, to one another. Next is the protection system. Protection system refers to a mechanism for controlling the access of the process pro process pro program or uh, the users who are allowed to access the particular resource. It refers to the mechanism of controlling who is allowed to access what resource. And uh, next is the command interrupter system. Command interrupter is uh, acting as an interface between the OS and the user and the users will be sending uh, 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 commands in, in terms of system calls to the uh, operating system. And next is the security. Security, uh, when it comes to security, uh, it refers to the process of uh, maintaining uh, OS integrity, confidentiality and availability. That is the correctness of the system, confidentiality, that is only the authorized user is allowed to access a particular resource and availability. It maintains record of what resource is available uh, for what process. And this is uh, main, uh, mainly done uh, with the help of uh, uh, maintaining password uh, protection system or similar other systems. And it is mainly to protect the OS from other uh, 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 threats like vi virus worms and uh, mal malwares or rem uh, remote uh, hackers accessing uh, the uh, OS information. Next is the job accounting. Job accounting is a function available on every OS system and uh, in this uh, the OS keeps tracks of the usage of the system resources that is uh, when the resource is available uh, for, uh, for at what time uh, for what process or what job. And the next is the uh, error detection system that is like when when we do some kind of uh, mistake there will be uh, dialog boxes popping off uh, and uh, saying uh, some error message so those are the work uh, that is those are the function of operating system and under uh, error detection this is what the os does it it can it can produce dumps or traces or error messages uh, that such that it uh, gives an information to the user uh, by popping up the error message and other debugging, uh, uh, debugging and error detection uh, work this OS does under error detection. And finally, these are the functions of operating system uh, that we covered so far. And uh, this is one of the important uh, questions under uh, uh, first unit. So, and. Uh, Ne uh, my next topic uh, that is my next session will be on OS services and types of OS and uh, thank you so much for listening to my session. Uh, if you really like this uh, video, please do subscribe to my channel, like and share. Share to the people who are in uh, need of uh, this lecture. Thank you so much.